Hey guys. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about sequence of events in a story or being able to explain instructions in a set of events, okay? So again, this usually includes starting with first, then second, third, last, or first, then next, last. We talked about a lot during the school year, but today we're going to go over it a little bit more with a practice exercise. So without further ado, let's get started. Like in the kitchen, the directions for baking a cake or in a recipe, or at the store, when she buys a model airplane, Julia has to follow the written directions to build it. Some directions come in the form of a booklet or a book. These written directions are referred to as a manual. Very similar to what we started our lessons off with this year for summer school. Those manuals, those instructions on, okay, first you have to do this, then you have to do this, then you have to do that. That is what we're talking about today. Julia has a manual for her computer. A manual is a written set of directions that help you understand or use something. When Julia has a problem with her computer, she looks at her manual. To understand a manual, you need to be able to follow directions. Julia has some helpful steps that you should use when following written directions. This is also very important, especially when you're taking tests or if I give you an assignment or even just simply reading through a recipe like they were talking about in the kitchen. First, you have to read all the directions. So before you even do anything, before you touch anything, use anything, measure anything, anything, read all the directions through first. Make sure that you understand what it is that it's asking to be done here. The second thing is gather any items that you'll need. So, okay, now that I've read all the directions, okay, these are the things that I need to actually have. Typically when I'm reading a recipe to make something, this is when I would go and underline, okay, this object is what I need. I need these spoons, I need the chocolate, I need the flour, I need the sugar, I need whatever, to make sure that I have all the items that they're asking me to get. Uh, in a recipe that's usually listed at the top, but not always. Sometimes you have to read through the directions in order to figure out what it is that you are going to need. Then you have used drawings to help you put things together. So if I was building a piece of furniture from Ikea, those instructions have a lot of pictures. So that way I know, okay, this part of the chair leg needs to connect to the chair back or it needs to connect now to the chair bottom. So that way I don't end up with the bottom stuck as the back and the back is the bottom and the leg stuck on the back instead of the bottom. And then it, it can get real crazy real quick. So making sure that you know, okay, these are the drawings, this part goes to that part, so that way that they actually go together correctly. Following the steps in order that they are written is also very important. Most of the time when you've written instructions or written directions, they do them in that order for a certain reason. If you do them out of order, it can either make it harder to do, or it can also make it not turn out the way that you intended to turn out. So again, reading all the directions, gathering everything that you're going to need. Look at the drawings, see how they add up together, and following the steps in order can make following directions and following the order of things very, very simple. Read all the directions. Gather any items you will need. Use drawings to help you put things together. Follow the steps in the order that they are written. Julia can lead, but she can also follow directions, that is. Your session has ended. Here are your results. Okay, so like I said, we're talking about following directions, following things in order, how to put directions in a sequence so that way we can, well, put them together correctly. All right, we're going to be talking about more of that in our lessons today. But for now, just be thinking, okay, if I have to put something together, what order should I do that in? All right, see you next time, guys.